Hey, what's going on? I'm Anton and I'm back with some more Deluded Mind gameplay. I'm gonna pick up my playthrough of this game exactly where I left off in the previous episode. The door is unlocked, it's ready to be opened. Let's see what's on the other side. <laughs> another hallway that's all it's there okay oh. the lights just ah uh, what the hell was that what was that got a case number here place of death oh that's my daughter i think i remember this case maybe not it know. happened in one of the episodes of my favorite show oh. diana loved it too oh diana is my daughter. horrible nightmares after the episode Murdered victim, Lisa. Who are these people? Father, mother, uncles. What? What's going on? Oh, things are disappearing. It's all Lisa. What's happening? Ah! Ah! What? Ah! What? Oh no! Oh no! Uh, uh. Oh, that was intense. Oh man, that was really intense. And... I'm awake. Back. Where I started? I... I don't know where... I think this looks familiar. My flashlight is gone. Power is back on though. That's good. Man, that was really intense. I didn't know what to expect. I was like, what is going to happen now? All those red eyes. That really freaks me out. Whenever I see that in like movies, I always get freaked out. Okay, let's go down the creepy dark hallway, I guess. I don't know where to go now. Where do we go? What's next? Let's go back here. This was the security section over here. Okay, I think the iris scanner might now work because I did add my retina to the scanner. So let's see. Here we go. The retina scanner did work. We're coming into administration. This is where my partner is. Or at least I think that's where they are. I don't know. Who knows? We're going to find out here in a second. And we are loading into the next level. Scary. Scary stuff. Okay, here we go. We have arrived into the administration. There's boxes marked Carl. Just waiting for the next jump scare. And these are, looks like offices. Let's go into AW116. No one here. Man, I wish I had the flashlight. That's a nice picture. Look at that. It looks like a cat or something. I don't know. Um... All dark, can't see anything in here. Alright, let's go to the next one. Nope. Nothing here. Oh, there's a door I missed right here. Can can't even see it in the dark. There we go. Looks like I'd be able to come through right here. Yep, there's the next office. So we can get around that obstacle. And then come out. How did I get here? How? It's teleportation. It's magic. <laughs> okay, that just scared me. Hmm. Oh. Oh. It's a house. Looks like I just got into some sort of a house. Last night there was a gruesome massacre on Parsons Street. Ugh. Lucas McRayfield, Ugh. five years old, was found dead alongside his parents, Larry and Jane McRayfield. That's great. Who has pictures of like graveyards on their walls? Where's that coming from? Although no is that from here? Entry to the house could be found oh, there it is. As the police were investigating the crime scene, experienced investigator a clown Charles puppet. Winslow found a clown puppet holding a jagged knife in its hand. Further investigations have revealed the knife is identical with the murder weapon. Wow. There we go. 
So I, who knows, maybe the clown is killing people. All right, let's make our way down the hall here. Let's see what we can find. Man, look at these creepy pictures. Door is blocked. We have just received new information on the McGrayfield case. Oh, hello. The clown doll retrieved at the scene of the crime was secured by local okay, police that's good. evidence. This morning at around 6.30 a.m., police officers John Wayne and Larry Blair were found dead wow. in the evidence room. Again, said clown doll was found with a gun in its hand. This time... It was a handgun caliber 45. Surveillance camera records could not provide investigators with clues so into the, the mysterious doll is killing murder people? of the police officers. The footage was damaged and could not of be course. played. Due to the two murder cases in direct connection with the clown doll, the police have initiated further investigation and asked the FBI for help. All right, so I don't see anything else in this hallway what's clicking something is clicking oh looks like the hallway is continuing it's like changing the house is morphing because a second ago there was nothing there and all of a sudden it's continuing now enrollment confirmation here from uh dean Cottrell. hold on that's me date of birth 666 place of treatment hell date of release none Oh no, look at it from the bright side, Dean. At least you're now with your daughter's smiley face. Uh, okay, wow. That escalated quickly. Alright, looks like we're continuing down this. The FBI oh. was involved in the McGrayfield case and began by securing the killer doll. The investigators previously suspected a serial killer was behind the murders of McGrayfield family and police officers John Wayne and Larry Blair. That is, until nine FBI wow. agents were found dead in a maximum security prison wow. yesterday morning. Again, the clown doll was found at the scene of the crime, armed, holding a handgun. What is up with this doll? However, this case differs from the other cases in one way. In the puppet's other hand, a slip of paper with an encrypted message was found. This message uh, I hear somebody was walking. Encoded on the same day by the forensic department. Somebody coming here? Turn around. Oh, turn around! Huh? Oh, huh? Huh? I don't want to turn around. Ah! <laughs> this is the horror is just beginning, and I'm back at the entrance again. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! What the heck is that? What is that? Oh, it's like a doll's head. <laughs> I don't want to go through there. Hello? It's locked. Is there like keys hanging off here somewhere? Oh, there's keys right here. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I found the keys. Finally. Uh, let's go through this door now. I don't want to go in there. Hello? Oh. Just got teleported again. Lights are turning on as I'm walking down the hallway. Oh. Huh. Hello, little man. Oh, he's upset now. He's no longer smiling. What's that? What is that? Yes, Diana. That's my daughter, I think. A triangle. Do 
Do I need to look for a triangle? Do I need to go back here and look for a triangle? Oh my god. I'm looking for a triangle. Yeah, I don't see... Oh my god. Oh my god, I... I don't want to go through there. What's that? <laughs> oh my god. Get me out of here. How do I how do I get out of here? Why is the door blocked? I need out of here now. I don't understand what I need to do. Hello? Oh, oh, looks like these things are working. Okay, what do I need to do? I think I need to. Enter combination. So I gotta use this panel to figure out the combination. Uh, I have the symbol. Not sure if this has something to do with that combination. I haven't really been able to understand how it works. There's a bunch of circles. Okay, let me go back to the other... Let me go back to the other drawing there on the wall. And I want to see here if maybe I can use that to punch in the combination to decode it. He's back. Hello. Oh, all of a sudden this has changed. I don't know what I did. I pushed a bunch of <laughs> buttons on the panel, but now this has changed symbols. And that's exactly the symbol that I have here. I get it now. Okay. I know what's going on. So I need to use the panel. The panel, each button represents a circle. And I need to change it up so it work so it matches my symbol. Now I get it. Okay, let's go back there. <laughs> Whoa, my God! What was that? Holy! I need I need to get out of here like now. All right, where's the panel? Okay, so the inside of the circle is good. The outside. All right, let's try this combination here. All right, let's go back here, check it out. Oh my God. I do not want to walk through this hallway anymore. Okay. Okay, so I think I have the... Oh, that's... Is that... How many lines is that? That's only two lines. Okay, so I think this part is done. The second is good. Maybe? What sort of lines? No, it's not. The triangle is good. Everything else is still broken because we need lines to cross on both sides like that. Oh, man. Okay, let's try this. This. And this. Okay, so that, okay, so uh, we're getting somewhere. We got, here we go. So we got three here, so that's good. The, we need, we need, we need one of these circles on the outside. And that's right now on the inside. So this, okay, so the second one has to change. Okay, I know what I'm doing. So it's going to be this one right here. And then we just need now to find... Let's try that. Oh, that's so close. That is so close. We'll literally just need to figure out this second circle. Okay, let me go back one more time. Go to the creepy hallway. Yes. That's it. Yes, it worked. Uh, what's that? 
protect her. Protect who? My daughter? Oh, I'm so glad I'm out of there. I hope. That was really creepy. Oh, that scared me. Oh. Why the hell am I at home? I guess that's my house. Hello. Floor heating is off. Door is blocked. Hello? Where's the front entrance? Is this it? Sarah? Diana? Are you here? Oh, I'm back in my... What? How can I... Be... I was just here. My FBI badge, everything. What the... Oh, there we go. I found something on the bed. It appears to be wow. a necklace. I was beginning to think I'd lost that thing. An my amulet. father gave me this amulet for my eighth birthday. It's made of a ruby heart carried by angel wings. They say it's connected to a guardian angel. However, I don't believe in such things. I don't know about that. Anything else to explore down here? Hello? Is that my phone? Something went off. Oh, hello. This is your voicemail. You have one new message. Received on December 23rd, 2013. Alright, let's listen to the message. 9.32 p.m. Received from 2... Yes, I know. Come on. Come on. Five, 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 oh, one, five, oh. Sweetheart, it's me, Sarah. I'm calling from a gas station. The taxi conked out, and the towing service won't be here for at least two hours. Can you pick me up on the corner of Prudence Street in Roseville? Maybe. Callbacks are based on your ATIS fees. Please press seven. No more new messages. That is one heck of an annoying voice. Oh, something just unlocked. It's this door right here. Yeah, let's keep going. And we're back in the apartment again. It's like the never-ending apartment that just keeps on going. Now this room is open. This is the bathroom. Can't see myself in the mirror. My daughter's room is open as well. No signal here on the TV. She's got some nice pictures of horses on her wall. Oh, there's the phone again. This is your voicemail. All right, another you voicemail. Have one new message received on September 12th, 2014 at 7:39 We know. Come on. Received from 202555-0154. Dean, it's Robert. You don't have to come to the office today. Someone just flushed the toilet. Murder case. Most likely drug related. Come to Harrison Street 45. I'll be waiting here for you. See you soon. Callbacks are based on your ATIS fees. Yes, we know. Please press 7. No more new messages. So that's still blocked. No more new messages. Anything back in my daughter's room? Oh. Daddy, Daddy, I can't sleep. Diana, what's the matter? Are you okay? Her bed is on fire. That's why she can't sleep. No. Do you have a temperature? Let me feel your forehead. Hmm. No. It doesn't feel hot. What's the matter? He's watching me. Who? Who is watching you? The man in the closet. Diana. Oh my god. There's nobody in the closet. Look, I'll show you. Hmm. 
There's gonna be somebody in the closet. Look, nobody's here. And if somebody was here, Mr. Pebbles will protect you. Do you feel better now? Yes. Good. Try to sleep now, my sweetheart. And don't forget, Mama and Pop are always with you. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Don't let the man in the closet get you. Is there a man in the closet? Can't seem to open it. So I'm gonna say no. Oh. Door's closed. Oh. Phone is ringing again. This is your voice. Oh, here we go. Another you voicemail. One new message. Received on unknown. <laughs> Somebody's threatening me. Callbacks are based on your ATIS fees. Please press seven. No more new messages. Oh, door is unlocked again. And down we go. Another level. And back in the apartment? Yep, we're back in the apartment again. On another level now. All right, let's go back in our daughter's room. Oh, Mr. Pebbles now watching some TV. What's up, Mr. Pebbles? Oh. Daddy, Daddy, I can't sleep. Diana, what's the matter? You having bad dreams again? Lisa's trying to kill me. Lisa. Lisa? Which Lisa? Oh, you mean Lisa from the TV show? Sweetie, that's only make-believe. Lisa doesn't exist. Try to sleep, okay? Sure she does. Hey, Dad, I love you. I love you too, sweetie. Good night. Hi, Mr. Pebbles. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Pebbles. I'll see you later. This There's another voicemail. Voice you have one new message. December 24th, Receive Christmas Eve at 11.59 p.m. <gasps> Is Santa calling me? At 11.59 p.m. Received from unknown. I need some of your money. Callbacks are based on your I ATIS need something? fees. Please press seven. No more new messages. Let's take a look here at the note. Dear Agent Cattrall, if you do not cease your investigations right now, there are likely to be many accidents going forward. Please see the attachment. Best wishes, your friends. Yeah, okay. Here's the attachment here. Dean Cattrall, New York City, place of birth, wife, uh, uh, parents, my child is here, siblings, I mean, they know where I live, they know how much money I make a month, my social security number, credit card, wow, my height, weight, blood, they know everything about me, they know everything about my wife, Sarah Cattrall, she's got a gluten intolerance, even I didn't know that. William Control. That's my parents, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, parents and Anne. Wow, these guys know everything. And there's Anne Control as well. Oh my god. So they know basically everything about me and about my family. Wow. Alright, doors blocked. Anything in here now? I did not close that door. Here we go. Something is happening. I don't know what. What to expect. Oh. What's going on? I seem to have been teleported or something like that in the room. Um. Somebody's on the other side of that door. There's somebody here. Oh, I'm back. Oh, what the... What the heck is that? Thought it was in my apartment. Oh, something is gonna come out of these cubby holes. I know it. I just know it. And I'll still get scared. He made it through.
this the never ending hallway. I don't know where I'm going. But we'll gonna find out here in a second, I guess. Oh, I just went around in a circle from what I can see. Do we need to go down these cubby holes? Or it just keeps on going. No, I did not go around in a circle. <laughs> I, I knew there was a jump scare coming. I just, again, you just never, ex I mean, you expect them, but you don't expect them. It's such a weird feeling. Okay, into the darkness we go again. Maybe. I'm walking backwards right now. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm back in my daughter's room. Oh, man. These jump scares just keep getting me. Okay, what's going on here? Dad, mom, me. Oh, that's a long number to remember. And then it goes to... That's number six. Where's number one? Three. Something here? No. FBI, go. Number eight. Gas. Yes. Okay, let's see if this is unlocked. Yes, it is. 16, 73. Okay, let's go. I see a bunch of numbers here on the walls now. Another new puzzle for us to figure out. Okay, let's go down this hallway again. I'm gonna try to go around in what appears to be a circle, but... I'm gonna see if this takes me anywhere. I see a bunch of numbers. I'm not quite sure where to punch those numbers in yet. 66, 63, 68, 85, 26, 10. And we're back in the darkness and that's, I can't even go anywhere. Alright, let me go back to the room here. We're gonna see if we can figure this out. Another exciting puzzle. I mean, these could represent the little cubby holes that we can go in. Maybe, I'm guessing. I don't know. Let's try it. Because we kind of come out this way. Yep, here we go. All red now. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Nine. Three. Eight. Gas. Okay, so I went into the first one. Now it all turned red. Forty-two, nineteen. Let's try it. What if I go into this one? Nope. Not eat it either. Hmm. Oh, there's some pictures here now. Rest in peace, Diana. I'm guessing that's me. Oh, uh oh, that doesn't look good. I hope that's not me. So now what? I've just been stepping randomly into these cubby holes. Marked with the numbers and now I don't seem to actually be able to do anything. Oh, there we go. That teleported me somewhere. Oh, here we go. There's something on the floor now. I don't know. I'm just randomly going into cubby holes. 87. Oh, what was that? randomly teleporting from one to the next.
This is so confusing. 64. Now there's lines here on the floor. 76. Eighteen. Nope. I don't. I. I mean, maybe. I have no idea. Sixty-six. Let's try that. Let's follow the line here. I'm so confused by this one. I don't understand this puzzle at all. Zero zero. Oh, hello, you. I found our little friendly wooden guy again. <laughs> I don't know if that means anything. I'm still confused as ever as to where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> oh my god, another one of those things just scared me. Well, I'm still wandering around here and I'm like completely lost. So I'm going to try to figure this out. And when I do, I'm going to come back with another episode of this crazy scary and very hard game. Oh, it's so frustrating. I just can't figure out the puzzle, but I'll get it. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're watching me for the very first time, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!